today I'm going to show you another method on how to paint these little mod melts that we got in the Swirly Dews Tech Kit for the month of September. So what I've done is I've used just a couple colors of acrylic paint. We're just going to use acrylic. I'm using a dusty attic blue um, and I'm using this green, what's it called? I don't even think it ha uh, sea green sea is what it's called. And I'm looking to ca capture the bluish green color that's in the Kaiser Craft papers this month. So I've just added some paint, combined it here, and a little bit of water to water it down. And I'm using a dry brush. And all you're going to do is just go ahead and brush your color on. Now remember these mod melts, they, if you heat them again, they get soft. So when you paint them, you just have to let the paint dry. And the reason why I water it down is because I want to make sure that it gets down into these cracks and crevices and that it does a good job with capturing the detail. Sometimes if you have acrylic paint that's too thick, it tends to clump and lump and you don't get a real good detail on it. And now we're going to go over a couple of techniques once these dry on how to do some highlighting and a wash. So now that our pieces are dry, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some different coloring techniques. One technique that I really enjoyed was to use the Viva Inca Gold in the copper color against the green patina. You can see my little bug here. See that little guy? Right there on the picture. You just take the Inca Gold, once your pieces are dry, just take some on your finger and you just rub it on top. So we've got gold and we've got copper and you can do it with any sort of thick paint or beeswax, but these, these have beeswax in them and they, they do a real nice job of hitting those highlights. Another color combination would be to do black gesso with the gold. That would look phenomenal. Or black gesso with the copper would just look amazing. So for the rose, we're going to go ahead and do a wash. I'm going to show you how to do that. And you take your, you can use paint or you can use ink. I'm going to go ahead and use a moon shadow ink just because this is already so watery and it has shimmer to it so I'm going to be able to get that gold shimmer. I need to shake this up to get my shimmer off the bottom and this time I'm not going to be using a dry brush. I actually want my brush wet. So once you wash your brush off from the paint, you can just use the wet brush. And what I'm going to do is after I've got everything shaken up, and you can do this even if you use a paint for this, you're just really going to water your paint down. This is already fairly watery, but we're just going to take some on our brush and I'm going to add it to even more water. So I am making this stuff super, super watered down, even more so. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece that's already dry, and you're going to use that wash and you see how it kind of sinks in to the cracks and crevices? but it leaves the top more open and you still have your color. And you can go ahead and you can take a piece of paper towel and just dab the color off the top so it just remains in those cracks and crevices. And like I said, I did that with the Inca or the Moon Shadow ink. You can do it with any color paint. The more watery you have it, the more it's going to show the original color through. If you have it less watery, you can take it and wipe the paint off with something just a tad bit thicker. So for the second piece, I want kind of a gold look to it, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Lindy's Stamp Gang Grab a Guy Gold that came in our kit and I'm going to make a paint with it. So this I can make it as watery as I want it right off the bat. So you just take a little bit of the pigment and you just add some water. I don't want a lot of water because I want this one to be a little bit thicker. And then go ahead and paint your piece. If you get a brush that's got some thick bristles, you can get down into the crevices there. Now that I feel that I've really got it down in there, now I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to wipe. Almost like a glazing effect. So that original color is showing through, that gold is really down into the crevices. I'm really wiping a lot more on these raised pieces because I really want that green to show through. But overall, I've got a gold effect. And you can do the same thing with the perfect pearls. You can get the same effect with any sort of pearlescent or if you've got the perfect pearls copper. Try any different color combinations. Just start with your base color of acrylic paint and then try doing various different washes or glazes on top and see what kind of different effects that you can get with that. Have fun with it, and when you do something different, post it to the forums and share it with the rest of us. We'd love to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching.